Tampa Bay Area researchers are working with a technique that could soon revolutionize the way we develop new medicines. By using stem cells, they're conducting what amounts to human drug trials in a dish. The tiny cardiac cells you're looking at are abnormal. And that's a good thing, at least for researchers. These cells match those of a patient suffering from a rare and deadly heart condition. We can actually make heart cells right in a dish that's genetically identical to a person. And then we can give drugs to those uh, cells and have the heart speed up or slow down. And so we can, we're actually doing clinical trials in a dish right now. Dr. Bruce Conklin and his team at the Gladstone Institutes in San Francisco helped pioneer a revolutionary method of creating and testing new drugs. Their technique uses induced pluripotent stem cells, or IPS cells, cultured from the skin of patients. Those cells are then grown into specific human tissue for testing. So to be able to work directly on human tissue, directly on human heart tissue, directly on human uh, brain t uh, neuronal tissue is a fantastic leap forward. That's because for decades, researchers have relied on lab animals for the early phases of drug testing, but that's also led to some false starts because their physiology is significantly different from humans. But now South San Francisco-based Iperion believes it's on the verge of developing new treatments for neurodegenerative diseases using drugs tested first on human nerve cells created in their lab. We have started with skin cells from patients that already have the disease, turned those skin cells into stem cells, and then turned those stem cells into neurons that also have the disease. Using these diseased neurons, researchers can test dozens of samples at a time to see which drugs are working with potentially far more accurate results than in animal models. What we believe we have the opportunity to do is to take the actual cells from the patient and to develop a, uh, an understanding of the actual human disease in the, in the dish. Hyperion CEO John Walker believes testing specific drugs on human cells first instead of animals could ultimately cut the time it takes to develop new medicines by years. Well, we expect to be in the clinic with two different uh, agents to treat, we hope, both spinal muscular atrophy and ALS within the next uh, four-year time frames. Researchers also believe the technique could have an impact on animal testing, perhaps someday dramatically reducing the need for lab animals.